Hey guys, welcome back to our Metas YouTube channel and you're watching JavaScript series for beginners. Well, in our previous video, we've seen about how to create a pretty ordinary HTML web page. So you can see that this is how it looks like. So in this video, I'm just going to explain some of the tags that I've used in that particular code. So this is to make sure that you can understand what is going on in the web page and so, you know, just go on to the next video and one point of time in the series I don't want people to be like okay I don't know what happening in here and I don't know why I've written something in there so let's go with it uh, the previous video itself I explained that what this is this is actually something to describe or else to let the browser know that you're using this version of HTML so this means that you're using HTML5 now if you've been doing some codes for HTML4 or if you have been creating web pages for HTML4 you might remember that you're writing something called this DTD which links to W3C DTD strict or else transitional something like that that is no longer necessary so HTML5 made things easy for us so this is not a tag this is something you know it's a type it's a doc type that has been given just to make sure that your browser can understand that this is an HTML5 version of HTML page. Now the next thing is the HTML tag. So this is where your page actually starts. Now this is where the page actually start doesn't mean that the content of the page. So this is where the page start but the content actually starts here body. So before going there let me explain what is a head tag. A head tag has information about your page which is not something that you will be seeing but it's something that your page will be considered as a resourceful page so the title is something that gives a title to your page so what you've written in here is what you're seeing in here so that is what a title tag stands for now apart from title you can write multiple stops in the head tag so for example meta tags which can have information about what type encode type that you're using encode encoding is something uh, that you might you know not have learned or else heard of but there is something called as UTF-8 which is the common encode type that uh, HTML pages use now if you don't know what it is just leave it don't uh, try to you know understand it it's not something that is going to affect your page and meta tag might also have viewport which actually decides how your page is displayed on various devices these days the responsive designs are based on the viewport that has been mentioned in the meta tags and also there is a meta tag that has information about the keywords of a particular page which can be used for search engine optimization so your page will be read by the Google bot and that bot will read the meta tag which has information about the description of the page and also the keywords of the page based on which it will index your page on the search engine so there's a lot of very crucial things that can happen inside the head tag apart from that you can also link your style sheets your JavaScripts and also various other stuff like fonts and uh, some of the you know uh, critical style sheets or critical JavaScripts that uh, is something kind of a you know a saver for you when it comes to old versions of browsers like Internet Explorer 6 or 7 there are a few bundles you know few libraries that has been released in order to handle some kind of usual errors that might occur in the older versions of browsers and so there's a lot of things that you can add into the head tag but we're not going to see that because that's going into core part of HTML which uh, we are not seeing in this series this series is about JavaScript now coming to the end of the head tag now before ending the HTML tag, we are starting a body tag. So body tag or anything within the body tag is what you will be seeing in the page. So anything inside the head tag will be kind of a link or a resource or information about your page which you might not see. But anything inside the body tag can be seen by you in the browser. So anything inside the body tag is what will be rendered on the browser. Now coming back to the code div tag div tag is a division so five years back people who are designing the web pages like even before five years uh, people design the pages using tables you now tables like table rows table data table heads but these days when you see a web page they are pretty much designed using the div tags the division tags 
So that is what the change is. Now responsive designs are having a lot of features that you can actually do with div tags and div tags are much more better than table tags. You know, tables are you know outdated. Even the tables can be achieved by div tags these days. Now H1 tag is the header tag, you know, the head tag. Head tag is like having five different versions like H1, H2, H3, H4, H5. Uh, I think uh, there's no H6. There might be. Now H1 is the biggest one. Uh, what it does is that it makes your text within that tag to be the heading of a particular page. H1 is the biggest one. H2 is a little bit smaller than that. H3 is smaller than the H2. H4 is smaller than H3. It goes on like that. Now what this H1 tag actually does is that it adds bold to your text which is actually considered as converting your normal text into bold and also make sure that the size of this head is the biggest in your page unless you alter it manually using some style you know, CSS. Now the again it's a div tag and uh, ul tag ul tags are unordered list so there's two versions of listings unordered list and ordered list ol is the other version so this is how you write the ol now li is the list item for each of the list so unordered list or ordered list doesn't matter it's going to be li the list item now within which we can see that anchor tag is there a tag is anchor tag which can be used in order to anchor some kind of links to some other website or else pages in your own website. Hedgeref is the actual place where you will mention the link, the URL for the link that you want this particular anchor tag to host. Now the other tag that I want to show you is the P tag which I have removed from here. Sorry about that. Now the P tag is the pair tag a para tag doesn't have much effect unless you have too many contents in here. So for example, I have a para tag ending in here and a para tag starting in here. So let me show you what is the difference that it can make in here. So let's refresh. You can see that it just pushes the entire text down and adds some gap between the two para tags. So we haven't actually changed anything in here. We haven't entered, you know, we haven't applied any enter or spacings in here, but the para tag took care of that for you. Now that is what para tag does. It just makes your text as a para. So you don't have to actually add an enter in here in order to make it look like it. But even if you add an enter there, it won't have any kind of effect on HTML because HTML reads empty spaces as nothing. So uh, if you are trying to actually do some like something like this, let me actually show you. It won't have any effect on your actual web page. Reload. See that? It just goes in like this. So when I use a simple para tag in here, I have to close down the para tag that is already there and use the delete. This will have the effect of using the enters in there. So this is what the para tag does. Now apart from these tags I haven't used any of the tags so I'm not going to explain any of the tags. So if you want to learn about HTML there's a lot of resources in online. Well HTML is one of those languages like people has to know just like how you learn English and any other languages you know your mother tongue. HTML is something like that you know or what you can say is that you know, life doesn't matter what language you learn, you have to know numbers. You know, numbers are very important. So just like that, in programming languages, HTML is something very important, just like how you learn C in order to start your career as a programmer. So HTML is very important for web developers as well. So let's see in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching this video. This video is just about explaining the tags that I've used in my web page, not all the tags in the HTML. So don't ask that in the comment section. Anyway, guys, let's see in the next video in the series. And uh, make sure if you have any kind of comments or issues or feedbacks or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section. And please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet or you can also contact me through the Facebook page, Twitter feed or Google Plus page. The links can be found in the description section and well, that's in the next video guys. Keep watching the series. Thank you.